Uh, hello, everyone. So my name is Adele, and I'm going to be talking about Apicuron and how we're going to standardize recognition for biocuration activities. So first of all, let's talk about biocuration and, uh, in general, the implications of it. So biocurators have a really important task in biological research. They, it's very uh, important to make structured data available to researchers. And it is very highly demand, it's highly demanding and really time consuming. It's a really complicated task that is difficult to acknowledge and quantify. It's also uh, difficult to evaluate how much work have been put into curation. So in, in this interest, biocurations need a trusted, reliable way to evaluate and also to showcase their work. And here is where Apicuron comes in. Apicuron is a software as a service based solution and this solution hopes to offer a way to credit and acknowledge biocuration effort. It hopes to serve as a portfolio platforms for biocurators eventually showcasing their work from trusted sources. It offers a standardized effort recognition system. So in this way, we, you can have a list of all of your contributions on different platforms. And the value that it provides for curation platforms is a simple feedback loop for, uh, to evaluate curator engagement and how they can help curators contribute more and value their contributions well. So Apicuron sets up a profile for curators and it this profile can show, serve as your portfolio showing your work. We pull your description from ORCID so you don't have to maintain yet another profile. We uh, compute uh, metrics about your contributions and showcase, the, showcase them as badges and medals, which are achievements that you earn as, much, as more as you contribute to the platform. And here's an example of, uh, of a profile that we have. So this is the, the uh, the description pulled from ORCID, and these are the metrics, the individual contribution that you did, and all of the achievements that you earned. So how Epicuron works by default? And this, I think by explaining this, the, it will become clearer for biocurators what the value they, that they get and what is the value that creation platforms get by this. So we start this journey by having biocurators making contributions and doing the best that they uh, that they can, and then eventually, curation platforms will send their curation data back to Epicuron. Epicuron will do its magic and analyze the data, and eventually, it will update the, your ORCID profile for the bio curators, compute the achievements, and then update your curator portfolio. Effectively, uh, putting your work uh, out there and showing that you have. Uh, contributed to that, um, to that resource. So we already have par uh, many partners and other in, with other creation platforms, uh, mainly Disprot, Pad, and all of these resources are already integrating with our beta version of Epicuron that is available publicly. And uh, we will close this uh, very short talk with, uh, men by mentioning our support and funding mainly the Elixir data platform and the implementation study of uh, January 2022 with the respective co-leads Damiano Piovesan and Silvio Dosato with the five nodes from all of Elixir, IT, EM, Italy, EM, EMBL, UK, and, uh, uh, and the six institutions you, uh, that are involved and the eight databases that are integrating Thank you all. Any questions? Yeah.
Thanks, Ado. So I'm excited for, for all these new databases to be integrated. And I know this is a difficult question you've thought about, but what happens when someone curates for different databases? How do we compare the relative efforts of, let's say, Palmbase versus RFAM? So you're, you're meaning, so you're, just to elaborate on that, uh, when you say comparing, so you want to compare if someone contributed more to a database than another, or? Uh, I guess it's two parts. Can, can we use Apicuron to say yeah, Palmbase is doing a lot more curation than biomodels, or this person is doing a lot more curation than that person? Uh, should we use this for ranking or comparison? So, um, I mean, if every, if th this depends on the bio curators, why? Because the public data that you, that you see is um, currently only involves the curators who have signed up for Apicuron. And therefore, if we have enough users signing up to Epicuron, yes, that can be that can be obtained. We just really don't want to uh, encourage the comparison in between databases, so that as to not create unnecessary unnecessary rivalries. But I mean, you can you can eventually pull this from the API and make your make your comparisons. Uh, I would as yeah, so it's. Uh, hi Adele, hi. thanks a lot for the talk. Uh, I also have a difficult question, sorry for that. It's fantastic, this, this aggregation of, of all the data, but the question is, how do we make those budgets, budgets be important? Because the thing is that Apicurin aggregates all of that, but then it has to count to a global scientific community in order for the biocuration to be recognized, right? Sorry, could you repeat the, the... What I'm saying is you aggregate the, the bio-curation activity for a particular user and he gets X amount of badges in Apicuron. Now, how, does, how can we make this count on his CV, on, on their CV, you know, for, uh, for their career and, and so on, um, you know, outside of the bio-curation world? So, so we will... So this is the... The, the idea is that if you... Uh, the, the whole point of Apicuron is that it offers you the, the, portfolio, the portfolio. So it's a trusted source, so that, so that we don't, you don't have to go manually and put this on your CV. And so any potential recruiter or person that, of in, that is interested in your, your skills can see this information from a trusted source. So it can be viewed from ORCID, which is why we're integrated with them, and us as well. I hope that answers your question. Okay, thank you. Hi, uh, my question is about the badges. So how will you come up with the badges and what, ty what time of award to give and what is the standard for that? So the badges are defined by the curation platform themselves. It's a set of conditions that you decide. So all of these like badges and medals, it, it's just a, basically you say, uh, for example, if, my, if the user does X and Y, you give them the badge. So they are defined by the creation platforms. We do not interfere with that. We just facilitate their definition and setup. Um, do you think Epicurean actually would be very good for community curation rather than professional curation? Where a kind of a lot of people, PFAM, they're professionals. They're paid to do it. I mean, they're more interested in publications. They're scientists rather than badges. Where if people were doing it as a community curation, badges would be very good because they're doing it additionally. So I think that they are, uh, so I, I mean, I guess you're, 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 you're right about this. Uh, professional curators do uh, prefer and deserve uh, publications, but I think that uh, one does not eliminate the other. I mean, you can have both and it doesn't hurt to have more. Uh, and I mean, I think a professional curator can switch in between community curators, or they usually have start as a community curator. So it's uh, always good to have both. Last uh, question, please, then. Sorry, just in answer to Jen, Pombase aren't using it for the badges and medals. You don't need to use those, but we're hoping to use it for our community curators so that they can use it to show their funders that they've made their data fair. So there are different ways that you can use the platform. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Adele. And um, if there are any more questions for Adele, uh, please keep them for, for the coffee break and we'll move on. Thank you. Thank you.